what memories does that bring up for you when you see that 99 All-Star start in Fenway Park? Uh, well, before the game, I remember shaking a lot. I've never seen planes in an All-Star game fly so low. That's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was standing on the mound, and, I, and I'm warming up, and when the planes went by after the anthem, you know, I'm, I'm almost done okay, warming yeah. up. Right, the flyover. I, I did not expect the planes to fly so low. And they kind of shook me and shook the entire stadium. It was like the most amazing sound I, I've ever heard. And then, uh, you know, just uh, watching the whole century team, to me, was great. That was unbelievable. I remember hand current coming over and wanting to shake my hand. And uh, to me, that was like, oh, my God, this is it. But it got even better. Uh, because after the game, the game, I knew what I could do. I, I was facing those guys during that era. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I was able to do and have Ted Williams come, bring me over to his suite where he was, uh, actually, there's a little video, I don't know where it is, the Red Sox have it, mm -hmm. where he says, you one hell of a pitcher. And he shook my hand and he signed the program. And that was pretty much my trophy. That that capped it up. I think uh, just being part of the most unique All Star game that I that I, that I can think of, have the Old Century players something we might not see in this lifetime, is probably the most amazing gift I could ever get in an All Star game. Forget about the strikeouts. Forget about the performance. An All Star game like that deserves that, and and probably even better. Because I I just remember that after the all-century team had been announced and then the the players had been announced, I'm assuming you're warming up in the bullpen? Is that where you were I, at the time? It was just about. It was okay. always delayed. Remember how everybody mopped over? Well, that Ed was Williams. it. Yeah, they, they, they asked, the announce, the public address announcer asked you essentially, you guys, to break it up. Yeah, you, they, they, I was already, in, in, you know, walking to the bullpen, but okay. it was so delayed because everybody wanted to hug Ted Williams. <laughs> uh, that I had to actually hold myself from pitching, something I did not like. But because it was an all-star game, you're flexible to doing anything. And if it was in a regular game, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be really angry at everybody, TV and everybody. But right. it was the all-century team. It was dedicated to Ted Williams. To me, it was an honor to just be part of anything that 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 happened that day. Well, if, I, well, I, if I'm not mistaken, Bob Gibson was out there too. Everybody. Koufax. Koufax, uh, uh, Roger Clemens, Ken Griffey, uh, uh, all the players that were, yes. that, that, that were from the old century team and at the same time were alive. Some of them have passed away since then, unfortunately. But uh, I, I, I was really happy to take part in that All-Star game, the most unique All-Star game that we could – Probably we, we will ever see again. I agree. I agree with you, Pedro. Yeah. Uh, was there any thought of you not going to innings, just doing one? Was there? No, I was there was to it? pitch. I was representing Boston. I was representing Ted Williams. Uh, I, I I was I was in perfect timing to go pitch. Uh, it was it was just amazing. Everything was amazing about that All Star game. It was also a learning lesson for me. How so? Well, I I I, I learned to keep my composure. Uh, you know about forgetting about the hype, because there was a lot of hype in that All-Star game. Uh, I learned to keep my composure, uh, the delay and all that. I figured it didn't have to affect my game the way I thought it would by someone delaying or, you know, throwing me back on time. So I, I try to learn from everything I did, and, and that was a game that really taught me how to be patient and, and wait for my time. It's interesting you say Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer, and again on MLB Network tonight, tomorrow from Nationals Park. Also enjoy your work uh, that you do with the TBS as well. Thank you. And um, here on the Rich Eisen Show, where you said if it was a regular season game, you'd be pissed. Are current day pitchers that way? Do they have that mindset, do you think, Pedro? I, to me, the most stressful day was the day before I pitched. And why is that? Because I wanted to get it over with. I wanted to go after the hitters, and I wanted to be out there. And I didn't even want to wait one second. I just wanted to go after you. And I had a hard time dealing with that because I prepared myself. I got ready. And I just wanted to go out there and compete and kind of have the day and a half I had to kind of relax. Uh, for me, baseball... If I had known better like I know now, I would enjoy it a lot more. 
But back in those days, it was like a stressful. I wanted to just go up, you know, go about my business, get it done with, and then kind of relax. And and I didn't enjoy it as much. I I, I was always caught in that block of ice and trying to go and compete and instead of having fun. Who was the toughest out for you? Huh? Who was the toughest out for you? Uh, they were all tough, Rich. Oh, come on. You Pedro. know that. That's not an acceptable yeah, answer. I will they, not accept that answer. Oh, believe me, but there, there were guys that were pesky. Jesus. I remember uh, facing, uh, the number one to me was Edgar Martinez. Because oh, yeah. power pitcher in a small frame, I wanted to be economic. Actually, in 99, I was really economic the entire season. I was expecting that to happen for the rest of my career. And some of those guys were somehow found a way to foul off pitches, mm -hmm. foul off good quality pitches that you were supposed to get other people out. Right. Uh, and, and Edgar was one of the best at doing that. Derek Jeter, another pesky player. Pesky, pesky, but professional. Uh, I didn't like facing Alomar, guys like that. Kenny Lofton, guys that fall off little pitches and would run my, my count high. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.